welcome to my channel. This time, I will cover about the fighter jets in tier 3 of Modern Warship. In beta test here which I joined, there are some changes about the plane system. In this case, now fighter jet squadron are able to combat drones and bombers automatically. Hence why, there are some adjustments to their weaponries. Let's check it out! First is the stats of fully upgraded F-22. You can see it in the video. I'll give you a couple seconds if you want to pause by yourself. Here I'll demonstrate the normal speed, the acceleration, brakes, and the maneuverability of F-22 Raptor. The normal speed of F-22 Raptor is about 76 knots, I believe. And F-22 Raptor is surprisingly able to maneuver really well even at high speed. It can go as low as 14 knots, I believe. The top speed of F-22 Raptor is 123. Now let's test the most important part, its missiles, aim sidewinder. We will check the damage, range, and reload. The maximum range of F-22 missile is 4 km. The reload is about 3.1 seconds. The damage is 2100 for 3 missiles, means 700 each. The maximum cannon range is 2.6 km. The damage is very between 50 and 75. Alright, that's it for F-22 Raptor guys. Now we're gonna move on to the second plane which is originated from Chinese J-20. This is the start of the fully upgraded J-20. You can pause the video if you like it. Okay, now I'm about to demonstrate the normal speed, the acceleration, brakes, and the maneuverability of J-20. The normal speed is about 75 knots. It can go as low as 39 knots. Although this is just my opinion, to me, I think J20 is able to maneuver a little bit better than F22 Raptor in the high speed. Speed of J20 is 120 knots. For the missiles, J-20 is actually have further range than F-22 Raptor. As you can see, the range is 5.6 km. J-20 missile reload time is 5 seconds. As you can see, the damage of two missiles are 2,200, and each missile deal 1,100. Sir, 
Okay, that's all that I can cover about J20 right now. I didn't cover about the cannon because the the, the cannon of the fighter jets in tier 3 is essentially all the same. They are the same cannon, the same damage, the same range, and it already covered in F22 Raptor. So enjoy the gameplay for a bit, I think. And we're gonna move, we're gonna move on to the SU57 really really soon. Now we are talking about SU57. Here is the fully upgraded start of it. You can pause the video if you want. Okay, here I'm demonstrating the normal speed, acceleration, brakes, and the maneuverability of SU57. It can go as low as 40 knots. As for normal speed, it's around 75 knots. The top speed of Su-57 is 118 knots. As for the maneuverability, I think SU-57 is kinda tricky, especially at the high speed. It's possible, but it's tricky. For the lower speed, however, it does well, it does very well, I think. Okay, now we're gonna look about the missiles of Su-57. The maximum range of these missiles are 5.2 km. The reload is 4 seconds, and for the damage, the 3 missile does 2,000 550 Okay, now only two of the missiles are hit. They are doing 1700 damage, which is mean we can conclude that each missile deals 850 damage. Uh I did it because I was wondering whether if the missiles from each individual planes are different. Okay, now we're in the summary. I put my observation result in this table so you can see and compare it by yourself if you want to make a decision which and what planes you want to go with. Pause the video if you want it. Or you can always come back here later. Now we're entering the analysis. Of course, this is just a simple analysis made by me. So, yeah, this is what I get. For the partners range, we got in the first place J20, and then in the second place is Su-57, and the third place is F-22. As for the higher, highest damage per shot, we got Su-57, and then G20, J20, and then F-22, and then for the highest damage per second, we got F-22, and then Su-57, and then G20. As for the high speed, F-22 still got the faster, still is the fastest jet on the tier 3, and then the J-22, then Su-57. Okay, now before we are entering the discussion, I want to say disclaimer um, about what I'm going to say and what I've been saying. 
and what I'm saying right now is all about my opinion so they can be wrong or they can be different based on your or my personal experience and my preferences or your preferences so difference matters you can you can you can write your opinion in the comments and i will appreciate it if you comment and maybe like or subscribe okay thank you and the first one is speed is obsolete for me i think their maneuverability of the planes and the speed are roughly the same you can't really outmaneuvering others at open space but may be able to do so in the place with obstacle the second is the highest damage highest damage per shot is becoming more important as your goal is space with the enemies is to be able to shut down them first before it, before they get they shot you and that's also mean that range is important too the higher range the the first one you are able to shut down the enemies then you get the upper hand and then the third is damage per second becoming useless in dog in dog fight because you'll get shut down first if you have lower range of course you need a huge punch punch i mean you need a big punch if you get shut down first you'll reduce overall damage and it only useful for attacking units like bombers which aren't fighting back and then for the planes i think f22 become kind of inferior in my honest opinion it has low health low range and low damage uh j20 is okay is j20 is a good choice actually a solid choice uh they are able to survive most of the time because of their higher durability but this is only if enemy anti anti air defense isn't put into content into consideration of course the other planes are too i mean they even have lower health than j20 when keep in mind this isn't in this is also isn't included with the stealth factor yet which i don't know how to do it at the moment and then the su57 personally for me this plane is becoming the best all-rounded fighter to guard and keep your career it has the range the highest damage and it can shut down strike fighter and fighters immediately at least one of them you only need to wait 4 second and then to launch the second strike which is gonna put them put them to see i mean they gonna put them down too and they have medium damage per second comparing compared to the F22 Raptor which has the highest damage per second i mean it doesn't it doesn't that so bad that it can uh it have wrong reload that you need to wait to take down bombers this one have medium damage per second around 600 i think which mean it can sustain damage against bombers or drone you don't have to worry especially if they are near your carrier your carrier will help you take down the bombers or drones by shooting missiles or anti or machine gun anti air defense or even laser like ansec uh that's it for me i think the best for guarding your carrier is carrier and dog fight is su57 or, or su i don't know how to spell it, how, how to say it guys i appreciate you that watch my video until the end and comment your opinion if you have one don't be shy subscribe subscribe and like if you if you feel you like it thank you very much and peace be upon you i try so hard and get so far